Emily and Sue, it's not at the same density as what occurred last summer here in Michigan, but even still, uh, we are approaching unhealthy designations there as you uh, get closer to the lakeshore parts of Ottawa into Allegan counties in that darker shade of yellow. That's where we do have some issues with a little bit of smoke. It's a little thicker in that location. Meanwhile, it's uh, fairly thin to almost uh, not even recognizable here across the rest of West Michigan right now. And as we go through the next couple of days, we are going to hang on to this smoke as you can see that passing through in waves. Again, this is primarily going to be sticking, though, in the upper levels. It could have an impact on folks who have greater sensitivity or respiratory issues. So if you fall into that category, you probably want to take it easy as uh, we continue to deal with a little bit of that light smoke drifting through. Storm Track Live displays the system which brought the smoke to us. That's continuing to cross to the southeast. You can see that behind it, we do have a few light showers that are happening right now in an arc which extends from uh, Missouri to the northeast into Canada at this moment. So continuing to watch a few showers plug their way through. You can see that primarily we're dealing with some rain as you head further south into portions of Allegan and Barry counties. Looks to be a little bit of wet weather there in Wayland, extending east near Hastings. Hamilton picking up on some rain at the midday hours here. And as we zoom things back out, you can also see a batch of some showers working in off the lake near the city of Muskegon right now. So again, dealing with a little bit of wet weather, but it looks like that will erode through the rest of the day. Cooler and cloudier conditions outside. Temperatures will only make it into the mid-60s here in Grand Rapids. More pleasant as we get into tomorrow and Thursday. And overall, it should be a drier pattern. It looks like the rain chances will continue to erode as the afternoon goes on. We can put that in motion here with Futurecast. The one exception, as you head further south, you can see a string of some isolated showers and storms, which may form just south of I-94 today. And it looks like those will also fall apart as we get into tonight. Cloud cover looks to dissipate from northwest to southeast. And it looks like we'll have some more sunshine present for tomorrow afternoon. Should overall be a really nice day with temperatures just above 70. And then as we get toward the later portions of this week, we'll have another chance at some rain return on Friday. Cloudy skies right now over the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. And our temperatures as we check those out, you can see that those are stationed in the 50s for most locations where the cloud cover is not as thick, mainly points south. That's where we've seen temperatures hop into the 70s, including Kalamazoo and Coldwater. Meanwhile, temperatures stuck in the 50s for points under the clouds. About a 20 degree reduction in temperatures in Grand Rapids, a 12 degree difference versus yesterday in South Haven. 17 in Big Rapids. Have to remember, most locations were able to rise into the 80s yesterday afternoon, so a pretty large difference in temperature. And the wind is pouring in from the northeast between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Here's a look forward then at the eight-day forecast, hanging on to a small chance of rain into the afternoon, especially for points south. That's where we could see, again, some more showers form. 72, mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. As we get into Thursday, it should be dry throughout the daytime hours. At night, there is the possibility of seeing some showers and storms come back. Extending into Friday morning, a warm weekend. Pretty nice out there. We should dry things out with highs hovering at about 80 degrees. Emily and Sue.